Well, boys, it is another day back out here on the off-grid series. I got a good night's rest, 200 bucks in my bank account, and, well, it... That, that's that's about it anyways we got work to do so currently i do not have my pickup truck and i've just been using one of the owners of this farm's truck or more specifically jack's truck or his other one or one of or one of many i'm not sure how many he has but the reason for that is because when i went into town to go pick up the rented excavator and dump truck there i left my truck there and jack has decided he wanted to keep the rented equipment for a little bit longer so i need to go get my truck but jack's away today so he told me i could take in the truck and trailer into town and grab that truck man i'm saying truck a lot but i'm gonna say it again this truck that i fixed up in the previous episode i have sold and i gotta drop it off in town i sold it for two thousand dollars so i'm gonna take some of that money go to the scrap yard and also pick up a brand new transmission for this well not a brand new one but a transmission that at least works and maybe a few spare parts for this thing if i can find them now jack does not have a whole lot of work on the farm for me today so really i'm just trying to get these trucks running and maybe i'll get around to doing some work on my own farm that's the hope anyway all right truck is loaded well, let's get going into town okay so i've made it into to town here first stop is to drop off this truck then i'm gonna hit up the scrap yard to grab my transmission and then i gotta grab my truck lots to do and there we go truck is sold i bought that transmission for 280 bucks so that leaves us with 1920 bucks i ended up loading the transmission up in the back of my truck because there really wasn't much room on the trailer here so we made it work Anyways, back to the farm. And back at the farm again. I'm gonna get the truck unloaded, get the transmission unloaded, and see if we can get that flatbed running again. Man, that tilt is ridiculous. So it has been a couple hours here, and I think I have the truck pretty much dialed in. I got the new transmission in. I got the motor running semi-decently, and I think we're gonna try to go take it for a drive here real quick. Hold on, I gotta see if the beacon works. Oh, the beacon works. <laughs> that is perfect. Oh yeah, sounds real good. I think the uh, the muffler might be rusted out. Oh yeah, this is a perfect truck. You know how much work I'm gonna be able to do with this thing? It's way better than that Ford. It's not a better truck, it's just spec'd out better with the flatbed. I'm, I'm not saying the Chevy's better than the Ford. Looks like all the lights work surprisingly well. I did not expect that. The beacon working though is a, is a big plus. That's probably the coolest thing. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay, we got one more truck left to uh, finish up here, but I don't have time for that today. I gotta get some other stuff done. And this one needs a whole motor swap. I don't got time for that today at all. So it looks like I'm gonna be putting the Chevy to work here today. So Jack's wife called me and said that she had some raised garden beds that she wanted taken out. And she said if I could have them if I wanted, but uh, I think if they're in decent shape, we're definitely gonna take them. She said they're the ones that are fenced in here. Yeah, these are it. These look in pretty dang good shape. So if I took these back to my uh, land here, just across the mountain, planted some stuff in them, I could, uh, you know, make some extra money that way. Heck, that's not a bad idea. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig these out, load them up on the truck, I'll take them down to the uh, farm down there, and I guess the rest of the dirt here, I'll just uh, load up in something and try to take it down there so we can get these filled up too, once they're all set up. A few hours of work later, and this is the outcome. Got all the boxes in, got some wood laid down, got some buckets. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get water here. That's the one thing I don't know how to do. There is a creek down there, but uh, it hasn't really been flowing. Eventually, I'm going to have to put a well out here or something. But yeah, I just got to figure out how to get water here. Okay, so it took some figuring out, but I think I have a solid plan now. I'm going to run this thing into town if it makes it. I don't know if it will. At least it has a full tank of gas. That's helpful. Anyways, I'm going to run to the farm store, grab a water tank. I think they're about $1,500 or something like that. And then we can bring water from Jack's farm all the way up to mine. It's going to cost a bit of fuel, but oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was sketchy. Anyway, as I was saying before, I almost flipped my truck that I just got running. We'll bring water from Jack's farm up to mine. It's going to cost a bit of fuel, but then I can try and make some money. Well, I have some good news. I have secured a water tank and it was $1,500, but the bad news is I'm down to $420, which is not a lot of money, but I think we'll figure that out. If I can get that second gen fixed up and sold, that will uh, help us a lot. Anyways, I'm going to get back to the farm here and fill this thing up and hopefully we can get some stuff growing. Uh, there's one more place I gotta stop at though, and that is the seed store, which is just on the outskirts of town here, that I can grab the seeds that we're gonna need too. So I'm back at the farm here, I got the water tank filled up, 
but uh, when I pulled in, Jack was at the shop, so I went and said hi to him, and he just gave me crap in the nicest way possible. He was like, why the heck did you buy a water tank? We have a water tank at the farm for a reason. Just use that, which I, I don't always want to be using his stuff, but I mean, if he's going to offer it, I'm going to use it, but in a, in a different way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both of these filled up, obviously. Well, actually, I don't have this one filled up because once I get to my farm, I'm going to shove this one off the trailer and then I'm just going to fill it up with this trailer, which is already full of water. That way his trailer doesn't have to set up at my farm. And then I can just take water out of this and use it on the garden as we uh, need it. So that should work. I just can't believe the guy. He's so dang nice. Although I was going to go and take my uh, bale trailer up, but I guess we have something else hooked up already. So that's going to have to wait. Oh man, the old Chevy's having trouble pulling this up the hill. We're making it though. Back at my farm once again. That is such a long drive. It's not even funny. I'm going to unstrap this. There we go. And then just slide it off. Hopefully I don't break it. I shouldn't break it. Oh, don't tip. Don't tip. We're good. Slide it a bit more here and that should be good. Now I've got this tank transferring into this tank. I'm going to try to plant some of the seeds I bought, and then we should be able to start growing some things. Well, I didn't say they were the most realistic uh, raised garden beds, but we got everything full of water. The seeds costed me about 120 bucks. We're down to 300. So I don't know what uh, production is going to be like on these. I mean, obviously they're pretty fast growing tomato plants, but I'm hoping there's some good money in them. Okay, so I got the old 620 going here, and I figured while I'm down here, I should probably get a jump on a little bit of hang if I can. That's about where my property line ends. It, it goes a little bit further, but I want to try to keep this field to a somewhat manageable size, and I'm also not going to go way up on the hill there. I'm too scared of this thing tipping. Well, so far, so good. This uh, sickle mower seems to be doing somewhat decent. I mean, it's slow, slow rolling, but uh, we're making it work. So update, I have some really good news. I have figured out a way with the uh, PTO, I had it on the wrong setting, to completely bump up my working speed. So I can now get this done a heck of a lot faster and since the grass we're cutting is uh well not very thick we can uh really bump the speed up to the max which is nice and uh we'll get this done a whole lot sooner. So I won't be sitting here for hours and hours cutting this. Okay, so we got a uh, big log in the field here. I'm just gonna try move it with this uh, somewhat of a loader. I don't even know if I can call it a loader. It's working though. Well, that is it for this absolute massive field. I uh, actually went up a couple more rounds and uh, cut some more there, but I think that's about as much as we're gonna do on this one. Oh, I don't wanna pick up the grass. I was just trying to grab this log that I ran into in the middle of the field and just didn't bother to pick it up. Off to the edge you go. Actually, I not even stick it across. Oh, nope, on the road's fine too. No, I'll move it off the road. I don't want someone hitting that, even though there's no traffic down here other than me. But here's the thing. I'll forget about it, and then I'll hit it. And that's not good. So we've got this rake here that kind of doubles as a tether. So what I'm thinking is we're going to try get some of this field done. I don't think we're going to rake it today. We're just going to try ted it. And uh, hopefully it at least gets a little bit drier before we bale it. I'm not sure how many bales we're going to get off this because really there wasn't a whole lot of grass out here like if anything i should cultivate this up and reseed it but for whatever reason this tether is not wanting to work the best i am making it work though so who knows okay so here's the deal um i have a different tractor here now this is one of jack's tractors now the reason why this tether does not want to work is because of three-point linkage on this john deere 620 there's absolutely nothing i can do about it but this tractor works with this uh tether here so i am going to use this for the time being don't think that I'm always going to be borrowing Jack's tractors. I mean, it's a 20 minute, actually driving a tractor. It's about a 40 minute drive all the way from down here up to uh, Jack's place there. So this is just going to be very temporary just for this time only. And I am going to pay Jack rent for the uh, amount of time I use this tractor for, which should only be about uh, 15 minutes on here, but uh, driving it back, it's going to be a little bit longer. So it'll be about two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. So I am going to pay him $200. It only seems fair. Even though he probably won't take the money, I'm going to give it to him anyway. But maybe once I sell that second gen Dodge, I'll have enough money to go buy possibly a different tractor. Well, that tractor works. Part of it kind of sucks. So it is what it is. But this tractor, I got to say, is working phenomenally. I just really hate to borrow Jack's stuff. It kind of defeats the purpose of me being off grid. But soon enough, we'll get it all figured out and fine tuned to where I can actually be off grid. Okay, so it's been a little bit here and I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is, is everything's tedded and I am now raking all of this into swaths. The bad news is this field is so dang 
thin i don't know how many bales we're gonna get out of it so what i'm gonna try to do is rake as many passes into one swath as i can so i'm not going around forever with the baler trying to get this all done but this field definitely needs to be reseeded i mean it's, it's a wild grass field so that's kind of to be expected well i think that's about it for this field here and uh we got a little more than i thought we would after i kind of raked everything together it looks like we got a decent amount here i'm not sure how many bales it's going to come to probably not even a full trailer load but it'll be something well i made it back to jack's farm here i gave him the 200 dollars, even though he refused to take it i just ended up putting it in the shop it's only fair but uh he asked me if i could go do some raking again <laughs> So we get to use some better equipment this time, at least. We get to use this 8410 and this Vermeer rake. Oh, this is going to go so much faster. Anyways, Jack let me know that uh, he's getting the rest of the debris from the barn loaded up today and out of there. And then the builders are coming to lay down that foundation tomorrow. And then hopefully that uh, sawmill is getting built, which means we're going to have a whole lot more work out here. But i uh, going to try to keep up with my own farm, too. Oh, man, this is so much nicer and so much faster. And I actually have air conditioning in here, so it's even better. Well, that turned bad pretty fast. Uh, there wasn't even rain in the forecast. And it looks like this is here to stay. So I'm going to finish this pass here and I guess I'm going to have to stop. Dang, that sucks. I really wanted to get this done so it could dry out. I hope it's not raining at the uh, top of the mountain there. That way uh, my hay doesn't get wet. That would suck. But at least it's dried out for the most part and it's all raked up. So even if it does rain a little bit on there, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Anyways, since I got a nice covered uh, in kind of deal here, I'm going to try work on the second gen. Hopefully I can get the motor swapped. I got a hood there. I got to check what else is wrong with it. If nothing else is wrong, with it i can at least sell it and maybe i'll have enough cash to go buy some sort of a different tractor because the one i got right now just ain't gonna work unfortunately so we gotta figure something else out anyways hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye